26 days on, no arrest as the police struggles to connect the dots in the Gauri Lankesh murder case. India unites to demand for justice for the slain journalist. Suspended after a seven-year-old was murdered in a school, the principal of Ram Gurugram School joins another branch. Even before the probe has ended, the state gives her a clean chip. This singer thinks his father's success allows him to abuse, insult and create a ruckus anywhere. Aditya Naran uses cross language and threatens the airline staff. 48 hours after he escaped from under their nose, Bengaluru cops still can't find ex-Neta's grandson issue a notice to the hospital now. It's the worst mass shooting in American history. More than 50 people killed and over 400 injured by gunmen who sprayed bullets indiscriminately on concert attendees at a Las Vegas music festival. Good evening. Good to have you with us here in this edition of The Big Story. With success comes humility. A phrase that seems rather uncommon with our netas, celebrities, other VVIPs and their kin. We have seen instances after instances of politicians and celebrities behaving like it is their birthright to be served at all times. These brats have no regard for law and order, no value for lies. And on the big story today, we have two such instances to highlight this VVIP arrogance that must come to an end. On one hand, we have Aditya Narayan, son of acclaimed singer Udit Narayan, threatening the airport staff, abusing them for not complying with his wishes. On the other hand, we have a former MP and liquor baron's grandson driving drunk, almost killing six people. Now, the VVIP's grandson is on the run. Whether shielded by cops or hospital authorities, we don't know. But 48 hours later, this VVIP brat has not been found by the police. The question we are asking tonight is, don't public figures or children of public figures have a moral responsibility towards the society? Isn't the law same for all, no matter who you are? If people begin to emulate this behavior, what will happen to the country's law and order situation? So let's begin with the first incident. Aditya Narayan was caught on camera abusing the staff at the Raipur airport. He entered into an altercation and threatened the airport officials. Take a look. You can hear him. Look at the kind of language he's using. Making with him. What, what did I use? I did not use. There are 10 people here that know that I started abusing you. When you said don't abuse, you have no right to abuse. I can say whatever I want to say, first of all. I can say, I know everybody was standing there. I know everybody was standing there. You are making this personal, buddy. You are making it personal. What? I was not abusing you initially. You understand? I was making a video with my friend and I can say whatever I want. Here you go. Egoistic. Look at this guy's ego. There you heard it for himself. Aditya Narayan thinks that this uh, airline staff are his personal servants. Well, even if that was the case, this was not the way to behave with anybody. But look at him abusing and intimidating. Even on camera, he knows he is being filmed. Now, we are given to understand that he was filming there with his friends, clearly without permission, using abusive language, foul words, when he was told by the airline staff to control that language, at least in the public space where there are other passengers sitting. This is when this happened. And you can hear him say, I was taking my video there, what is the problem? Hai? Though the airline has a different uh, story to tell us, Hina is joining us with more on this story. Hina, what happened here? Why is Aditya Narayan so angry at the airline staff? 
Well, uh, Tanvi, uh, you know, Indigo has now released an official statement about this entire incident as to what happened. So yesterday, Aditya Narayan, along with a couple of more people, was traveling from Raipur to Mumbai and he had some extra baggage with him. And that extra baggage was around 40-odd kgs. So when he went to the counter yesterday at Raipur Airport, the, uh, you know, the official, Indigo official who was present there at the counter asked him to pay 13,000 rupees extra for this extra amount of baggage that they are carrying. To which... Uh, Aditya Narayan, we are being uh, told that, you know, he got angry. He said, I'm not going to pay you more than 10,000 rupees. So it was hardly a matter of around 3,000 rupees extra that he was being asked to pay, that he became so angry. He started abusing the uh, airline staff who was present at the spot, which included some female staff as well, which made the duty manager of Indigo extremely angry and upset over this entire issue. And the duty manager decided to not allow him to board this flight from Raipur to Mumbai. He said, I'm not going to give you the boarding card from here on and that's why Aditya Narayan behaved the way he can be seen in this video very very clearly he started abusing the I will come back there. to you he also tried to do a Facebook live at that point in time again using some abusive language and then uh, uh, you know that is when he got very angry and he started threatening the people there okay stay on with me I'm going to come back to you on this incident because you know we've had a lot of conversation about these VVIPs uh, uh, now the airlines in the aviation industry has come out with norms if they are unruly passengers like this they won't be allowed to board which is probably why Aditya Narayan at some point had to apologize because they wouldn't have given him his boarding pass otherwise Ila Arun is on the phone line with me Ila Arun should should this be the case that celebrities are above the law celebrities can treat anybody the way they like if they are being told that there is a certain rule that has to be followed they can turn around and abuse the staff Okay, we seem to have lost that connection with Ila Arun. We are going to try and reconnect with her. Before I go across to Hina, let's see if we can play out that sequence again. I just want to emphasize on the kind of language that Aditya Narayan is using. And when the official even tries to turn away to end this altercation, Aditya Narayan actually gets very upset and says that this airline official is being egoistic. Raza Murad is on the phone line with us. Thank you, sir, for speaking to us. Here on Mirror Now, what do you have to tell Aditya Narayan? He's a young man, a singer. His father is very well uh, respected and established in the industry. What would your message be to him today about his behavior? I know this young man very well. He was an assistant to Mr. Sanjay Leela Bansali when I was doing Ram Leela. I found him to be very, very well behaved, normal. But it's rather shocking uh, whatever I heard uh, on TV is really shocking. I never expected uh, this kind of language which he used like Chaddi Uttar Denge. So it, is, it was totally uncalled for to use this, this kind of language. When you step out of your house, you know, you represent the entire fraternity, the entire, entire industry. If you do something bad, the industry gets a bad name. People say that the industry is show off or he's throwing tantrums. So the whole industry gets a bad name when you behave badly outside your house. I think he should apologize for this and uh, uh, there was no need uh, to, you know, use such kind of unparliamentary words. And as I know that... Uh, uh, this ground staff is always very courteous. They are taught to be, you know, cool-minded. They never retaliate. They never use any foul language. They can all, they can always take take it, but they will never give it back. They are always at the receiving end, but that does not mean that you should bully them uh, uh, in such kind of language. So uh, I'm, I'm really, I, I like that boy a lot. And I'm really very shocked uh, by all this. And he must apologize uh, to the entire staff. Sometimes it happens, you you know, uh, you get angry, but that does not mean that you use such kind of unparliamentary and, and, uh, and a threatening language. And as, you know, all the airlines are taking a very strong step against uh, the unruly passengers and if anybody is blacklisted, then it will become very difficult for him to travel. You, uh, you reach Delhi within uh, one hour and 40 minutes. But if you go by train, that takes 
about 18 hours or if you go to kolkata by train that takes 36 hours so that could be very taxing for the person also who's blacklisted by uh, the airlines he has to apologize for this and uh, there is no other way out i appreciate you speaking with us mr raza murad thank you so much for taking the time out uh, and speaking to us and i hope that aditya narayan is watching this and uh, he he at least listens to the advice of uh, elders from the same industry apologize not just to the officials but also come out and put out a statement saying i was wrong i must not behave like this with anybody no matter what gets you riled up to publicly behave in such a way and insult another person is unacceptable hina coming back to you the larger point here of course is we've seen a series of these cases where vvips netas or celebrities uh, have uh, you know chosen to be misbehave with the airline staff now there are strict rules about it Well that's right Tanvi there are rules finally the no fly list norms have been finalized as well by the Ministry of Civil Aviation but the problem is that it doesn't cover uh, incidents like what has happened at Raipur airport interestingly this incident has also taken place at an airport remember TDP MP Divakar Reddy has also had also misbehaved with some indigo officials at Visakhapatnam airport so the no fly list norms that have been released by Ministry of Civil Aviation they apply only to uh, unruly passengers and who are inside the aircraft so people like aditya narayan are currently you know there is no uh, uh, rule or no no fly list can that that can really apply to uh, people like him so he cannot really be put under no fly list because uh, you know if an incident has taken place at the airport then it doesn't come under the no fly list so perhaps that is something that the ministry really needs to uh, think about and include also in their no fly list category that if an incident takes place if somebody misbehaves with uh, with any uh, airline official at the airport he also needs to be punished or perhaps put him also in the no fly list but in this case clearly uh, we are given to understand that he has at least apologized to the ground staff of indigo and that is the reason why he was finally uh, after all this drama was allowed to board the flight from raipur to mumbai but since morning we've been trying to reach out to aditya narayan but there has been no response whatsoever from his side or his family side yet Yes, um, the, the, he must come out and give another clarification and tell us because there are some uh, uh, people who believe that he is not like this, and there must be some trigger. Whatever the trigger is, this uh, kind of behavior is unacceptable. Let's play out some of those reactions that we have got today, and then we'll also get take you through the details of what Indigo told us. Uh, it's absolute inhuman. It is a sign of arrogance, and uh, he should apologize. And I'm sh- and I and and, and I appeal. Uh, to him him to him that um, uh, this is not uh, done this is not in right uh, uh, right uh, perspective it's not right frame of mind and uh, it's much for him to achieve in life and uh, the way he tells them you are bombay aaiye aapki chaddi utar dunga ye kar dunga wo kar dunga so i didn't know that uh, aditya narayan is such a big don in the city that uh, anybody who wants to come to the city has to take his permission and he can do anything to anyone so it's a it's it's a it's a it's a shocking uh, news for me also il arun is back with us thank you for taking our call uh, uh, ms arun uh, your reaction what would you want to tell aditya narayan today after the kind of behavior he's uh, displayed at the airport see it is unpardonable as been telling this from the morning that you know this kind of a body language of this kind of a harsh language you know he shouldn't have done because he has lot of responsibility towards himself towards his father towards the film industry because whenever everything anything goes wrong everybody you know stands the full fraternity that they are bad their children are bad it's not that why he did it uh, he uh, he should have realize that he is a public figure and as usha uttap also said that he should have counted five before reacting if he had some dispute and he was disappointed he could have just uh, write a complaint and followed it you know uh, just saying that coming you have come to bombay and uh, i will do this is the younger people have to learn adit says and adit should not forget the song papa kehte hain bada naam karega बेटा हमारा ऐसा काम करेगा तो उसको ये गाना याद रखना चाहिए और ईश्वर ने मैंने उनको कल्याण जी भाई के ऐसे पांच साल की उम्र से देखा है कि इज सो टैलेंटेड एंड ही इज हम्बल आल्सो 
I don't know why he did it. I always say when you are in public, you have a double responsibility yourself. You know, because people love you, people, you are a role model. All younger people have to learn that little bit of a success, a little bit. I don't know whether he was provoked, but he should have controlled his anger or whatever frustration he had, or whether he was 100% right. Because if you have an extra luggage, you pay. I mean, it's not a big deal. Every time I'm going to do my show, I, you know, there can be a, uh, something goes wrong and we have to pay for it. If they are doing their job. So I, I hope that, you know, but I, one thing what I don't like that people are trying to uh, be judgmental. This is one incident which was not called uh, upon and he did it, he better be uh, apologetic, he should come and say sorry. But I won't pass the judgment like that, that all celebrities are like this. Don't forget celebrities really struggle. वो एक बड़े हम्बल बैकग्राउंड से आते हैं कि कैसे मिसफायर हुआ बिकॉज आदित्य की इसकी जनरल रेपुटेशन इज क्वाइट गुड एंड आई एंड नॉट विद द सेलिब्रिटीज विद द स्मॉलर पीपल लाइक स्पॉट बॉय एंड ऑल दे थी दे इट इज अ वेरी पोलाइट बॉय जी वो नहीं मिस आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट यू सेंग वी नॉट सेंग सभी सेलिब्रिटी के बच्चे ऐसे होते हैं बट बहुत हैं चाहे वो सेलिब्रिटीज हो या नेताज हो कोई भी पावरफुल हो जैसे वो बोल रहा है वहाँ पे जो लैंग्वेज में बात कर रहा है कि मैं मुंबई पहुंच के तुम्हें दिखा दूंगा मैं आदित्य मेरा नाम नहीं वो ऐसे क्लीशे डायलॉग लगता है दिल्ली का पर ये सच्चाई भी है कि ऐसा बोला जाता है एंड वी होप यू नो दैट चेंजेस इट इज व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से कि उसने ऐसा बोल के बहुत बड़ी भूल करी जी कोई भी कुछ नहीं है देर इज ए प्रोसीजर देर इज ए मैं कहती सही बात है की कोई दादा तो ना वो तो एक बहुत अच्छा सुरीला लड़का है तो तुम नहीं जानते हो मैं कौन हूँ कैसे तुमने अपने आप को ही डिमीन किया वो एक सुरीला बच्चा है सुरीले बाप का बेटा है तो उसको इस तरह की धमकियों में इस तरह की ये राउडी बच्चों का हरकतें हैं ये गुंडों की जबाने हैं ये जबान एक कलाकार की नहीं है तो वो उसने ऐसा क्यों किया बट आई स्टिल से मेरा एक्सपेक्ट है की आउट ऑफ उसको नहीं करना चाहिए था उसने करा वो माफी मांगी और मां मांग कर की और ये कहे कि ये गलती सुबह का भूला अगर शाम को आता है तो भूला नहीं कहलाता है ठीक है ना तो अगर वो ये बात उदित ना एक गाना आमिर खान का जो था वो पापा कहते हैं कोर्ट किया इस सिचुएशन में मुझे याद है जब आदित्य छोटा था ही हैड संग सॉन्ग फॉर द मूवी रंगीला वे द लाइन वॉज क्या सबने सोचा मैं बच्चा हूँ यू नो मे बी आदित्य नीड्स टू नाउ नो कि अब वो बच्चे नहीं रहे वो ऐसे टैंट्रम्स नहीं दिखा सकते हैं कहीं भी जाके दिखाने का जी उसकी जिम्मेदारी अपने प्रति है उसकी जिम्मेदारी अपने आर्ट के प्रति है अपने सेलिब्रिटी बट बिफोर दैट वी आर ऑल सिविलियंस तो वैसा वैसा ही बिहेवियर करना पड़ेगा ना जैसे सबको करना पड़ता है एब्सोलूटली राइट यूर एब्सोलूटली राइट इन आर प्लेज स्पीकिंग विद यू थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग आस वी होप आदित्य गेट्स योर मैसेज एंड एम बाई दैट थॉट दैट यू आर प्रेजेंटिंग य We've got our viewers also calling in. We're asking them, how do we stop this VVIP brat behavior? And it can be anybody who's in a position of power or uh, or limelight, whether it's a neta or a celebrity. We've got Isa, Canadian national, on the phone line with us. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Hi. Hi. I would like to say, we appreciate Ajitya Narayan. He was. in sarigama show but this is not his time to teach the youngsters tomorrow is gandhi jayanti india is known for peace and this is not the youth should behave with the airline staff after all he is doing his duty and this is not how the youth i think the parents should teach their children even i don't care if he is a millionaire or billionaire but there is something called human touch you know humanity is first samne wala ko bol raha hai ki mai teri chaddi utar dunga mumbai aa what does he mean he should apologize and he should be suspended from on any show for at least 3 months that his brain should rest and only then he can be allowed to come back on stage 
This is what I am trying to give a message, especially tomorrow is Gandhi Jayanti and the people should be taught. Today actually, yes. sir, here um, in India it is today um, and I get the point you are making, a message of peace. Uh, and peaceful existence uh, and calming your own tempers is the important point. I thank you, sir, for calling us and sharing your views here. We'll go try and take some more callers. Uh, let's see before that if we can also play out the sequence. What really happened at the airport today? This is Aditya Narayan in an argument with the airline staff. <laughs> Making with him. What, what did I use? I did not use. There are 10 people here that know that I started abusing you. When you said don't abuse, you have no right to abuse. I can say whatever I want to say, first of all. I can say, I know everybody was standing there. I know everybody was standing there. You are making this personal, buddy. You are making it personal. What? I was not abusing you initially. You understand? I was making a video with my friend and I can say whatever I want. Here you go. Egoistic. Look at this guy's ego. Nagraj is on the phone line. He's calling us from Bengaluru. Good evening, Nagraj. Go ahead, please. Uh, good evening, madam. Uh, uh, I saw this incident in the television. I would like to make some few points very shortly. Uh, one is, uh, see, when we go to airport, there is a series of check and we behave in such a way. And uh, when uh, these singers or uh, politicians, or, uh, you, you take any, all VVIP guys, they are uh, misbehaving. First of all, the culture built in the house by the parents are not correct. See, I am uh, I'm about 52 years old. Uh, my parents have taught uh, how to live in the world. And uh, to say very, very simply, uh, we need to find a very a happiness in the life. And these kind of singers who come to the Bangalore, and we, we are the poor people paying money for these fellows uh, singing. And they sing all useless songs. And uh, the world, I don't know how the world is going on. Uh, a message, this world is somewhere going very, very wrong, especially with the youngsters. Even in the Bangalore, very recently, one uh, grandson of uh, one uh, Tirupati, TTD, he rammed a hit and right case, he has escaped. The government is supporting that guy. Absolutely, you're right, Mr. Nagraj. In fact, that's uh, also what we were talking about here, and we're going to be presenting the uh, facts of that story also very shortly, because the fact yeah. is that in this case, at least because there were private airlines uh, uh, officials, uh, um, they, uh, they tried explaining it to Aditya Narayan, and they stopped him from using that file, uh, foul language. They asked him that if he, there is excess baggage, you must pay this money, uh, and he should do that. In the other case, we don't know what has happened, whether those hospital authorities or the police who was helping uh, that Neta's grandson, but the Neta's grandson has run away after ramming his car into six children, into six people. That story in, after this short break, so stay tuned. Did he drive drunk, nearly killing six people? Former MP and liquor baron Adhika Savalu's grandson has also managed to give a slip to the Bengaluru police. He escaped from the Malaya Hospital in Bengaluru. Now a notice has been sent to the hospital authorities. Deepak is with me and he's got more details. Deepak, what about the cops? Any action against them? They allowed a, 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 a suspect to get away like that. And where is this man? Do they have any clue? 48 hours on. Well, as of now, they're still clueless. Search continues. Uh, the teams have been deployed in different parts of the country in, in search of him. So if, while, they, while they pursue this man, a lot of resources are being wasted, a lot of money is being wasted. Notices have been issued. What the police say is they're denying any sort of laxity on their part. They're saying it's the hospital to blame. The hospital went on to say that uh, his condition was bad to even record a statement. Twelve hours later, he makes an exit from the hospital. So quite bizarre at this point in time. The police are saying they've issued notices to the ICU in charge and also the doctors who treated him. Uh, a board will also be uh, formed, uh, which will inquire into whether there was 
was a need for him to be in the ICU. But overall, at this point in time, the search is still on, and he he's made an escape, and he still continues to live a lavish life after injuring six people, and also uh, now he's been booked under the NDPS Act for uh, possessing marijuana as well. All right, uh, Deepak, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, two stories here. We're getting to you on Big Story. Stop VVIP Brats is the hashtag, is the campaign that we're picking up because it's time that these people get this message. It's just because they're VVIPs, they're not going to get any spe special treatment. But that is a wrap on this edition of Big Story. Lots more news on the other side. Stay tuned.